Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperian Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 11. Okay, so, um, we decided to not go with one of these stock <laughs> SVs, and I just popped into creative for five minutes and whipped up this tiny little crap box but uh i want to try and spawn it in um all of our stuff is in here so let's take a look at the what it's going to cost here it is my scout five it's tiny it's just tier one obviously uh 3754 cpu not much carbon substrate is 97 which we Pretty much can easily do if you look at what we've got here so I mean we have 87 right there alone and um, well that's enough right there with the nano tubes alone or we can throw the motors in so the motors consume more space we'll probably throw those in uh, so let's do that Okay. And let's send that to the factory. Um, well, I guess we're going to grab all our stuff then. So I rested another day and went out and did some mining, just simple mining so that we'd have enough to spawn this thing in. I didn't really spend any time making anything, so... This will be a little quick two-part video to uh, first get it all going. So let's grab these motors and the... I think I want to grab the nanotubes. I don't know if that's going to be enough. So we'll fill that up there. Um, and I realize I can't do anything with my cobalt that I dug up because this thing can't process it. So, yeah, I'm lucky I didn't make something that required cobalt, <laughs> although I do have a little bit. Um, I sold a bunch to that guy thinking that I was going to be a, like like a, a complete idiot, you know. It's like, whatever. Anyway, I dug up some more promethium and turned it into fuel, so we have a little bit to spare for uh, stuff like, you know, drills and... and um, multi-tools but we've got some multi-tool charges here so that's not a big deal we also from looting the drones we've collected bullets for 15 mil which is pretty uh cool and we also have the nitrocellulose so we should be able to make some bullets for it so let's dump in that and see what we're going to need actually i can grab all the ingots i mean i spun it all up on purpose i didn't make any parts because, well, okay, well, I guess we're going to grab, that doesn't take that much, does it? So let's not be stupid here. You know what, it's not even half that much. Can I carry that? Okay, close enough. Let's jump into here. So we need 136 copper. Uh, first of all, we're going to put the motors in. Because that has a bunch of components in it. Okay, so that's a big chunk of our carbon substrate. And then we're going to put the nanotubes in. And that, yeah, that knocked down our time a little bit. So did that. But the rest of this is not going to knock down our time. So the carbon substrate, we need just 40 something, eh? So let's. Not quite that much. Yeah, let's go like this. Since the carbon substrate is really precious to me right now. <laughs> On the moon. Not being able to actually fabricate it. I will only put in what's necessary. Okay, the iron. The silicone. Oh, I don't have enough on me. I'll grab some more. 
the copper. Okay, and then we need we need twenty six silicone. Okay. Okay. Let's grab this. Put that back in. Grab that and go to here. Twenty six. Okay. We'll start production and in seven minutes and 34 seconds we will have an SV to spawn in. <laughs> How cool is that? Meanwhile I'm just getting cooked out here and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go tank up with some free oxygen before I start getting really hot. Oops. Miss the uh... and then you know what? Here, we'll, let's just go over here. We'll buy a burger. I think I've got a little bit of cash left on me. I've left a bunch of food over in the other fridge, but that's okay. And can we not? Uh, we're three credit shy. Okay, what can we buy? Che no, not even cheese. We can buy wine, fried vegetables. Okay, well, we got food on the other side. We're not starving yet anyway. It's not that big of an issue. And once the SV spawns in, we, we can go, like, fly around in comfort and, you know, go do our trading and style if we need to. Or we can just fly to the other planet and just say, screw this and take everything with us. Hopefully, because I've tried to be very minimalist at this point with with gathering stuff, although that the ingots hopefully won't be too heavy. Um, the vessel that I made, I think, has 1,500 cargo, uh, two downward thrusters. Really, that's not much else. I originally forgot to put an RCS in, and I was out flying around going, oh, it's not too bad. It's a sluggish, little sluggish pointing down. <laughs> and then I realized I had no RCS in it at all. And the um, the new flight model allowed for that because of the design that I did it, where I guess where I placed the thrusters and how I had the wing set up and stuff, it actually flew pretty well without an RCS. I was actually a little surprised. I was like, oh, holy crap, I wouldn't have been able to do that before. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cut here and we'll just um, let that spawn. You know what? It's probably almost done, isn't it? As I sit here and talk. Uh, five minutes. Okay. So I will be back when that's ready to go. And we'll have an SP to go exploring. Woohoo! Okay. We are back. And it is ready to go. So let's do this. Before the sun goes down. Um, get this spawned in. Here we go. Um... Well, we can spawn it anywhere, really. Just let's. I'll have to uh, sh reset again because I'm sure it'll leave the insane video glitch of you know the the spawn. <laughs> yeah, right there. That looks pretty good. Spawn it in right there. It'll sink to the ground. Or if we, uh, I don't want it hitting and crashing. So let's just sink it down a bit. And there we go. And oh, it didn't. It didn't glitch with the box around it. Very nice. Okay, so here's our little basic, tiny little SV. Um. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this thing filled up, get the weapons ready to go. It has pretty much everything in it. It's got Wi-Fi. Uh, it's got one RCS because I did find the nose, it dipped a little too much for that. Um, or it wasn't dipping, I should say, enough. Uh, so, I mean, 
everything was okay. I could get the roll and the pitch a little bit. I could get everything working, but it was um, the yaw uh, and and the problem was is it kind of it felt like you had to like give it a lot of thrust to get any sort of momentum enough to to get those movements going so it was really it was really like more like a an airplane it was just an airplane it kind of felt like and i guess that's what they were going for so but i want to be able to like you know strafe and stuff like that and you can't do that in that sort of design that flight flight model so i put in an extra thruster on the front so two thrusters on the front to match what i had on the back um and an rcs and that that pretty much allowed me to it turned it back into very similar to how svs were before but it, it's really twitchy now like the rc is a little rcs is kind of it seems like overpowered side to side movement um so anyway let's power this thing up and i'll show you Let's get into the fuel here. Oh, let's throw all this in. Awesome. We can use... We can just use this stuff. It's fine. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this thing's stats. It can... It's got 3754 CPU. So it's well within tier one. Uh, its biggest thing is the Gatling guns and then the RCS thrusters after that, and it just kind of tapers down. It uh, the wings and the modular wings don't cost that much. Steel blocks were pretty cheap. And wireless connection and spotlights, landing gear, stuff like that is really cheap. So that's not too bad. Uh, what really blew my mind was I originally had the constructor on but that at, it added two levels and it added 2000 CPU points and cobalt requirements so didn't bother so let's take off so this thing covers no problem okay so we are going to get this thing set up and I will be back in a minute. Now it's really twitchy. <laughs> you can see the one RCS is two RCS over, and without one, it's not enough. <sighs> okay, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we have loaded everything up onto the SV, our little... Uh, tiny little cheapo cheap 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 starter level 5 SV with uh, what was it again it had yeah 1500 1500 SU uh, and we so it's maxed out there uh, on us it's not quite maxed out we also the ammo box is pretty big and we threw some stuff in there so we have everything on us now we've got all of our gear the um, no, you can't see it. I'd have to jump out, but it's too cold. So, you know what? I think we should just head to the planet. I think we should just take off and move to the planet, don't you? Um, we've got a little bit of space on us to maybe grab... I mean, we've got cobalt here. We can always come back here for the Neo and Saf, right? I think, I think I'm going to have to because I just don't have the space. And if I load up too much, I have a feeling we're going to, like, crash and burn. So... Uh, I don't want to do that. So first thing we want to do is here. Let's. It's really cold out. Can we take off? Yep. Okay. Good. I don't have any thing linked now. The speed is definitely slowed down now. 24, 25 meters per second. Let's just go over here. There. Let's. Because I want to jump out and grab the food. Can I? put a fridge on this no there's no fridge okay that's fine 
I still want to grab the food. I still want to grab the food. It, uh, I'm hungry anyway, right? Or halfway. Wow, it's super cold out. Need a EVA boost for my... So we can eat some of this right now. What's that? 212? Uh, they'll put us up to... Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So we'll grab that, and we'll just grab the rest of this. Okay. Well, it's probably going to spoil before we can eat it. Yeah. Well, maybe not that, but... Yeah. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. We, uh... We're heading to an arid planet, but do we have anything on? No. Um, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. We've got some food on us, and we're not hungry right now, so let's just go. Okay. Now, we are awfully slow. Oh, wow. We are super slow. <laughs> Look at that. Ten... No, 24. Okay, 24 meters a second. Um, now, what we can do to try and get that a little bit better is we can go into our really heavy controller. We're linked to that right now, so let's just relink so it's not buggy. And then the heaviest stuff you enter. So this is the stone that's heavy. It's going to be heavy 20. So I'm looking at the mass, not the SU, because I don't really care about the SU. It's already sitting in here, consuming SU. But it's the mass. Yeah, I think I can fit a lot of this. Let's just, let's just do this. Oh, 100 water. 42, 6, 30. Set 72, holy crap. Those four are almost as much as the capacitor. You know what, that's uh, that's fine, we'll put that here. Okay, so now let's see what our speed is. 36.9, see, we, we're going to be faster. Uh, now we can switch back to our weapon. We had just enough bullets to almost load it, but, you know, 443 bullets, so we can't squander that. Let's head. It's going to take a while to get into orbit. At, let's see if we can speed this up a bit. No. 25, 27. It's about as fast as we can get it going upward. That's fine. We're getting there. We're getting there and there's the planet. Looks like we're falling, doesn't it? That's a weird sensation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, here we go. Breaking through. Breaking through. And... Wham! Facing the planet. Okay, so we can go... 36, is that it? Oh, I know why. I know why. Here, let's just get out of the... Uh, let's get clear of the planet. Oh, it's taking forever. Let's just do this then. So we're going to go back into here. We're going to relink because you, you lose your, your linked controller when you change play fields. So go, go to back in, relink it, put it back, all this stuff back in the bar. And this should change our Speed. Yeah, 59. That's better. Okay. Oh, there's another... There's another uh, separate... So we have a bunch of asteroid fields. So we have the, the just the floating asteroid field in general that we're in right now. And then there's a, a ring around the planet. And then there's another substantial one out there. That is so cool. We might have to go explore this a little bit more once we get a little bit more established. Um, okay. Well, let's head to the planet. It is, I'm not really sure. I'm going to get to max speed. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to flip to my gun just in case. Then I'm going to take my brake off. Take my brake off and let it coast. 
there we go. So that's not really consuming much in the way of fuel at all right now. Uh, oh, what was that that just popped into view? I just saw two asteroids in front of us pop into view. Did you guys see those? Looks like two um, resource asteroids. Let's take a look and see what they are. I think they'll mark on our map now when we get close enough so that when we come back into orbit, uh, they'll be marked. Copper, okay, and cobalt, nice. So how far do we got to get to mark them? Is it like 500 meters? Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, we need a sensor device for CV, CVs at this point for the, because 500 meters is, is ridiculous. Let's face it. That's, that's insane. Um, where are we in the, in the way of north south? So the pole looks to be down. So are we like twisted? We are in fact twisted. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we really need to find ourselves somewhere to live. It's kind of a cool looking planet. Oh, if you see any more things pop in, that means that it's probably a, like if it just all of a sudden just pops into view when it wasn't there before, it's probably a resource asteroid and if we get close enough, it'll reveal itself but there might not be any more so whatever distance those other ones were is probably oh oh no whatever distance there those other ones were is probably a good distance to fly around the planet a few times in a different in a couple of different uh vectors so that um keeping the same distance uh, you'll probably spot a whole bunch more and find more that way that's usually how i find them Okay, so what we're looking for is we're looking for a little, a little island. That's not going to be too hilly. That we can build on. Now, a lot of the real north areas is, is like too close and it won't let you build, so... <clears throat> anything too close to the pole and it won't let you build so we i'm, I'm going to shy away from the land at the pole um that's a larger island than what i want so let's keep what we'll kind of keeps whoops don't want to get into don't want to get into the atmosphere here we'll just stay out of the atmosphere it's a little Let's get in the shakes. Here, let's level off a bit so that we can see. The clouds are making it hard to see the land. It's like a storm or something going on right there. Yeah, I can't really see. Go away, weather. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but uh, now I don't want to go too far south because then I can't see I can't see what's in there is there like anything cool a little island or anything to see there's an island down here come on let us look let us look ah uh, let's just Okay, we're above the ocean right now. We're going to plummet like a rock as soon as we... Is it all the weight on us, I bet? Let's see. I'm just going to inch my way into the atmosphere. Okay, here we go. And we're not falling. Oh, yes, we are. That's okay. That's okay. Um...
Yeah, I can't really. S oh, you know what? We are not falling. We're not falling at all. Let's head this way. What we're looking for is a very flat chunk of land. See, that's all connected to the... Ugh. We don't want to try too far north or else we'll get screwed. Let's, let's head down towards this island. some uh, radar hits. That's fine. We're not in anyone's territory by the look of it. Um, that's interesting. Oh yeah. So it looks like a free island here with a bunch of resources. Well, I want... What I'm looking for is very specific. Uh, either a little, a little island in a lake um yeah that's not what i'm looking for i want a flat little island oh what's that over there that might work cobalt Now the reason why I want a flat little island is for line of sight. And I don't really want to tangle with the natives. And I was looking at um, if we, because we're, we're not friendly with the Talon, that could actually cause us a problem. See, these, these aren't bad here. Some of these might be ba not bad. Let's just, uh, let's land here. It's really dark out because it's nighttime, of course. Well, this little thing is a champ. It's for such a cheap little SV, it, it handled the flight no problem, really, as long as we stayed with our connected toolbar. Let's see how, what happens. I'm going to. I'm going to just raise up a bit, level off, let's zoom out, and we'll see what happens when I, we're at 8 meters, we shouldn't, we shouldn't explode if we hit the ground from this height. Let's see what happens when we disconnect our, oh it is disconnected, right, because we came down into the atmosphere. Um... Or is that the reason? Did we cross the border or something? I thought we reconnected that. No, I guess we didn't. Okay, well, it handled it. It handled the weight, guys. Look at that. She did it. She did it. She's flying. Okay, I'm happy. This little this little girl did her job quite well, actually. Oops. So I can only fly at 25 meters a second without with it fully loaded but there we go <laughs> awesome okay so we made it onto the planet uh sweet this doesn't look like a bad little island actually to potentially start building on uh the line of sight issues i think aren't a factor um because we can go cut down some of those trees, and then it's not really that big of an issue there. Sweet. Okay, I like it. Well, next episode, I think we're going to start trying to get a base together um, and get some food. Uh, you know, what we, what we really need now is really the food production. We need food production. We need fridges and stuff like that. So now with that, we're on a planet with water and oxygen. We don't have to worry about any of that. And uh, yeah. Well, next episode, base time. Till then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.